So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's is actually going to be an Excel video because I'm going to show you three and a half ways to get Power BI data in Excel without leaving Excel. Okay, so from Excel, get Power BI data. Let's get started. Okay, the first way and probably the most known way to do it is you go here to data and then you go to get data and then you will see here from Power BI and it will tell you from which organization you're about to get data. In this case, it's Corbel because I'm logging, I guess, on, in Corbel organization on Excel. So you click on there and then it will show you here um, a list of all the resources that you have available in PowerBI.com. Obviously, you will see only the ones that you have available. You get here a list. Now, if you are one of these lucky organizations where your Power BI users are super enthusiastic and they create all kinds of reports, but creates the problem that your standard or official reports are not very easily discovered, what you can do is you can certify those reports so they will show up highest on the list. You can see here that the first hits are the certified and the promoted reports. So if that is your issue that you have so many reports and you want to make sure that users find the official ones, certify them. You will see the workspace where they belong. You will see who the owner is. You can give them a call and say, hey, how is this working? And you can see when the last time it was refreshed so you know how fresh the data is. So it is super nice. You can search Google Analytics, you see, very, very quickly. And then once you find the report that you want, you just click on it and it will create an empty pivot table that you can then fill in like you fill in any pivot tables, right? So nothing weird. I'm looking forward to the day that we can actually, but that you would probably do this from Power BI. You, from Power BI, you will click analyze in Excel and it will take you to a complete ready-made report in there instead of having to recreate everything. But not possible yet. You are going to get an empty pivot table. And talking about pivot table, that takes me to way number dos. <laughs> Let me show you. So if we go to insert and then you see pivot table here, there is an option for to get uh, pivot tables or data from Power BI. Again, it will tell you which organization. The experience is exactly the same as the one I explained before. You can search, you'll see the reports, you see reports that only you have access to. Click on it, the experience is exactly the same. So Microsoft is trying to put Power BI, get data from Power BI everywhere, so it's easy to discover, which is neat. I mean, th there's no harm on it. And then again, you can just click on things and then it will create your pivot table. So very, very neat. Now there is a third way, and this is actually a neat way, but <laughs> unfortunately, uh, from the Excel side, the but is that you need to have an E5 license. It's the highest Office 365 license or a G5 license. It's such a shame, such a shame. But that's, that is the thing. From Power BI side, there are also some uh, limitations. You have to have new workspaces and the, there, there are a few things that you need to do anyhow in Power BI to get it working. But once you do, the experience is quite neat. Let me show you. You go again to data and you see these data types. If you are like me, poor organization, <laughs> and I have an E3 license. So because I don't have an E5 license, I wasn't able to promote a feature a table, which is a shame. And uh, that basically means that I, will, I can't show you how it works but I won't be able to show you how it works from a table from Power BI. So you see here, organization stocks in geography. This is the data types that you will see if you have a license that is less than E5. How does this thing work? These are tables. These are tables that are powered by Bing, uh, especially the geography. I'm not sure the organization one, but the geography is definitely powered by Bing. So if I create a list of countries, Spain, Sweden, France, Italy. So then select them. And then I go here and I said geography, click on the data type geography. What this is going to do is going to go with Bing and search about information about these countries. 
it is a structured information. They know that you're putting countries or cities or things like that. And then it shows at this nice little table because I have chosen everything. Let me show you. Let me pick JDP, for example. So it is giving me the data for all the rows. If I just pick one, it's going to give me the data for uh, just the one that I selected. So for example, here, largest city, Madrid, but I can actually do the same way as you always do in Excel. You can either double click or drag, and then you'll get, <laughs> so that Malon is not a city, not the largest county either. <laughs> So yeah. Anyhow, it will give you information about the country. And uh, imagine now that you're doing this with feature tables in Power BI. So you have your product table and you have products and you have revenue per product and you have product type, product category, you have margins and you have prices and you have all that stuff. They can just, con you know, add it here on the table and get that data so they can create their own Excel report for whatever they need, which is very, very neat. But again, you need to have an E5 license. But what I've read, they have now added the possibility on Power Query to create data types on Excel. I don't have access to it yet. I think they are rolling it out. Hopefully it's for more than E5 license users. I don't know. But there is uh, another way, anyhow, to get data if you're a lucky E5 user. So the way to know, just open it and you'll see. If you see my organization data types, if your organization has created them, you'll see them. Now, what is the a half <laughs> part? Here's the thing. I showed you a hundred years ago that there was an ad in called Power BI Publisher that did basically this when this was not available in Excel. And some bits of this still work. For example, Open Power BI works, but the connect data, I, I don't know why it's not working at the moment. If you are using Power BI Publisher, let me know if it works for you. It doesn't work for me. So if it doesn't work for anybody, I can just uninstall it. So yeah, so that, that's the half anyhow. <laughs> so guys, this is all for today. Now, I will do a, hopefully on Wednesday, finally the life expectancy remake video, you know, from the Microsoft report. Uh, hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, it's taking the, the, quite a long time. And um, until then, if you want to watch another video, you can actually watch the Eurostat series that I have created for you last week or a week, a week before that. I'm going to link here so you can just, not there, so you can just grab them, okay? So see you on Wednesday. Take care and bye-bye.